Today on Brilliance Business TV, we have Nada Tarani. Nada is the president and principal at NHT Associates, chartered professional accountants and financial advisors. Nada is a chartered professional accountant involved in taxes and financial planning in one way or another since 1990. Nader runs a full life cycle accounting and financial planning firm offering corporate services, tax and advisory services to small and medium sized businesses. They are a truly one stop shop for all clients business needs, offering dedicated and personal services from startup and incorporating your company to estate planning and succession planning they will be with you all the way they have a successful track record of 30 years of experience representing and defending businesses with CRA stay tuned <music> Welcome to Brilliance Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business. I am your host, Mark Stephen Pooler. We have another wonderful show today and another great guest who I'm really looking forward to a conversation with. We are streaming live on MSP News Global. We're streaming live on Facebook. We're also on Periscope, LinkedIn, Instagram, YouTube. And we're also on the E360 TV network under Fresh Takes, streaming live to Android TV, Apple TV, Fire TV, Roku, and many, many more platforms. I just want to give a official shout out to our show sponsors at Craig Shelley Beverly Hills Luxury Watches Fine Jewelry at Craig Shelley dot com so without further ado i'm going to bring in our guest nada tarani nada welcome to the brilliance business tv show thank you very much mark i appreciate it. it's a great pleasure to be here today thank you i'm really looking forward to a conversation with you nada now you have such a great story to share of your journey of what has led you to where you are today. And you really do help people to make more money and save money through their sure. tax taxes, incorporating their business. So we will really, really go in detail with that today. My first question, Nada, I like to know a little bit about your background. What has led you to what you do today with NHT Associates? I came to Canada almost 39 years ago. And uh, as a new immigrant, the first couple of years, I was taking English classes. And then I started taking uh, all different uh, science courses and uh, chemistry and math and try to find out what I'm going to do with my life and I took architectural design and then I won uh, September 1990 I took the tax course and at the same time at the college I took the, uh, the accounting course and I truly fell in love with accounting and taxes and that's where I saw really something that I like compared to chemistry and math and physics that I had to memorize and I didn't really understand much of it. I saw that I could uh, really benefit from it and I could help people with it and I could immediately put my knowledge and experience into work. 
And that all started from there. And then I got uh, my bachelor, then part-time studies. I got my designation to become a CPA, CGA, and started working for large uh, corporations. I was the assistant financial controller for a very, very large Canadian corporation for one of the Fortune 500 companies. And then finally in January 2011, I decided to go on my own and have my own freedom and my own build my own financial freedom and independence. And I've been on my own since January 2011. And that is such a wonderful journey you have been on, N Nader. And also, you really have put in the work and the study and getting those qualifications so that you can really support others to really save money through taxes and yes. through incorporating their businesses. Now, exactly. can you just share a little bit about what you do and a little bit about NHT? associates sure we are a, a chartered professional accounting firm located here in uh, outskirts of toronto and in we have two offices uh, but my clients range anywhere from uh, far west uh, vancouver western canada all the way to eastern canada in nova scotia i have clients in between in alberta manitoba saskatchewan everywhere and uh, thank God to internet, we serve all clients everywhere and they are mostly small business, small mid-sized businesses and uh, real estate investors that we concentrate on. Uh, basically, I started with business and uh, having a business background, doing the financial statements, doing the financial analysis and help businesses save taxes. And then because of my interest, I expanded into real estate and i saw truly the need there for real estate investors and how much mistakes they were making and didn't know the rules and there are so many ways that they can save taxes and that's how i expanded the business and now i'm helping the businesses and uh, small business mid-sized businesses and uh, real estate investors it's great what you do because taxes can become very very complicated nada sure, sure. and sometimes when you're doing your own accounting as well that becomes very very stressful every month i know this from experience and of course also as you get bigger as a company and start earning more money it's really really important then to seek out people like you to get this support exactly. to save those taxes and save money because the bigger you get obviously there's a lot more responsibility sure. with that as well why is your service so so important to real estate investors and small medium-sized businesses nader uh there are as you mentioned the taxes are so complex and uh uh, there is so much to know and it's not just uh, like when you start and you just a couple of tax slips and you enter it into uh, software that you buy for a few dollars at the, you know, the bookshop, bookstores that you shop everything. Uh, once you have a small business, it gets complicated. The tax rules are complicated and uh, real estate investment is not some not mainstream. Not everybody knows all the rules, not even all the accountants know know all the rules know all the tricks they you need to set up proper structures to get to legally actually legally use the structures that corporate structures that exist to reduce your taxes and that is what distinguishes from everybody else the experience that i've had with investors the experience i've had myself being involved in real estate investments and i've been helping investors taxes are complex i have clients that are in the fourth or fifth tax bracket, they pay over 40% to 53.5% in taxes. And then they buy a real estate property and they start earning rental income and they pay over 50% in taxes. And that's unbelievable when you can actually set up a proper corporate structure and not only protect yourself and protect your own personal investments, pr protect your own assets, and also reduce the taxes all the way from 50% to 12.5%. That's amazing. But that you need the guidance. It's not like the old days when you started doing, when you were going to school and you just had a taxi, single tax slip, 
and you paid twenty dollars for the software and you downloaded it and you sat down put the cd in do the tax return and it's all done now they are so complicated there are so many ways that you can save taxes as an investor as a small business and that's where we come in and we try to help them yes and to me it sounds like there is a lot that goes into it nada and for some people out there they may not know whether they're quite ready yet so can you just share some of the problems that your clients would be facing before they seek you out and what would lead them to then come to you what when is a good time for them to come to you nada uh, when they are getting into business, it's before they start the business. Many people start the businesses as self-employed. Then again, self-employed is a sole proprietorship. You are not distinguishing the business from yourself. You're putting your own personal assets, personal investments, your own home, your own car investments, everything at risk once you go into business. So before you get into the business, before you actually buy a real estate property, and if it's an investment property, that's where we come in. We can analyze your situation. We can uh, do to see, we can sit down and check, work with you to see how much income you have, what are the taxes you're going to be paying. And if you set up the proper structures, how much taxes you will be paying and how much taxes you will be saving. So once you are beyond just a simple tax slip T4 that you have and you get from your work and you start having investments and then you're having real estate investments that's when you need an accountant to set up the proper structures for you in place i have so many clients that go into business just just past last year last year i had a couple of clients they went into business sole proprietorship and they are in trade they got a large contract with a home uh, uh, home builder company large home builder company and the first year they two of them made over two hundred thousand dollars and because they didn't incorporate the tax difference that if they had incorporated was over a hundred thousand dollars because when you are a sole proprietor you just deduct expenses and whether you took the money out of the company or not you got to pay tax on it but once you're incorporated you leave the money inside the corporation. In Canada here, uh, in Ontario, you pay 12.5%. There is uh, other provinces that you pay 11.5% or even slightly higher, 13, 14% tax you pay on it. And then the money stays in the company and grows inside the company instead of you pulling it out and pay 50% tax on it. So once you are starting doing something that you are not familiar with, that's when you need to seek the advice of an accountant, professional accountant, somebody who is designated, somebody who's gone through the way and knows how to set up proper structures for you. Same thing with real estate investors. Every day I see real estate investors that come to me, they are in the third, fourth, fifth tax bracket. They are paying 40, 50% taxes. And then they buy an investment property. Property, of course, is not a small one. It's just making a couple of hundred dollars a month for them. It's making a few, three, four, five thousand dollars a month. And at the end of the year, they come and say, okay, do my taxes. We sit down and we say, oh my God, they have made 40, 50, 60 K on the site as a real estate investor. Why didn't you incorporate it? Why didn't you come to see me at first? Oh, we didn't know. What is the difference? Well, the difference is now you gotta pay 50% tax on that net income of the property. And it doesn't matter you take it out or not. It doesn't matter you stayed in the bank or not. It's a profit. You have to pay the personal tax rates on it. But if you incorporate, you can simply reduce your taxes to 12.5%. So that's a savings of 75%. And then when some people sit down and do their own taxes, they don't know the tax rules. They don't know the deductions they can use. They don't know what is legal, what is not illegal. They don't know what is eligible, what is not eligible. So this is where a professional accountant comes in and can help you. Truly, it's not as simple as when you were a student and you just had one tax slip and you sat down behind the computer and you did it yourself. And I would say as well, from what you have shared, there is so, so many technicalities. Uh, mm -hmm. te is that a word? There's yes, so many... There's so many things that go into it, Nader, that That's true. 
it's going to be a lot for some people to take yeah. on board, especially when they're growing in size. Is exactly. there is there a, a minimum amount you would say people need to be bringing in in income before they seek you out? Is there a level of an income that you think's a good level for them to come and work with you? No, actually, it isn't. So I give you an example. I have clients that, for example, are in the roofing business. And it's an extremely risky business. I never, ever recommend them taking on a job, going on a roof before being incorporated. Most of the roofers, they hire employees, four, five, six employees, first year, and then the second year, they have a second, second team or third team going up on the roofs. So they should never, ever consider a high risk job without having a proper corporation in place because if something goes wrong if somebody falls if somebody is careless you as the owner are responsible so it's not just the level of income you make it's also the protection and the risk that you need to take in order in order to set up that business so if it's a risky business day one you need to be incorporated but then I have clients who, for example, are, you know, consultants and they work from home and they don't necessarily need to incorporate. So then I will tell them, yeah, once when your income is over 100 grand and you have savings, then yes, that's the time to incorporate. But at the same time, you got to consider what kind of it is you're doing. I have a client who works uh, with a U.S. corporation and legally they check the internet, the security systems of large financial companies. In other words, they hack into banks legally and they find, find weaknesses in their structure. So even him, he's an IT, he's working from home, but at the same time, he's doing one of the riskiest IT jobs possible. He wouldn't do that without being incorporated and without having a contract in place with the other contract supplier that is in the state. So there are two things to consider. One is the income level, and the other one is definitely the protection. You got to consider how much protection you need, and are you safe doing this on your own? That makes total sense now, Nada. That's a lot more clear to me. And uh, the great thing as well about what you do, Nada, you're helping people to do things legally to exactly. save money, save taxes and get the right systems in place so that you can really make as much money legally as possible, which is totally incredible. Now, Nada, we're coming up to a commercial break now. Sure. When we come back from the break, I want to know what it looks like when your clients come to you and sure. what you do for them and what that sure. looks like so Definitely. we will just go for a commercial break we are joined with Nada Tarani so far he has shared his journey to become president and principal at NHT Associates. He shared what he does with taxes and incorporating businesses and he has shared how that will help you to save money legally through incorporation and legally saving your taxes. Who doesn't want to save money? Hey, join us after the commercial break.
Welcome back to Brilliant Business TV, conversations with leading experts in business and what a informative show today to help us all save money on our taxes. And we are joined by Nada Tarani, President and Principal of NHT Associates. Before the break, Nader shared his background, what led him to do what he does today to help small and medium-sized businesses and real estate investors to save money through incorporation and through their taxes. He has shared some tips of why people have to save through incorporation and taxes. And he has also shared how he serves his clients. Nader, welcome back to Brilliant Business TV. Now, my next question is, when someone realises I am at risk here a little bit or I'm getting busier, I'm taking on all these projects and they come to you, Nader, what is that process like then when people say, I can't do this no longer with my taxes how can you help me? What is the process from there? Uh, the first step is to getting to know the client and understand the business and understand the complexity of their situation. So we usually have one or two uh, sessions that we sit together. Well, we don't sit together anymore due to Corona. It's usually through the Zoom videos or something. We get together and they send me their tax returns. They send me their books or the what is supposedly their books and the spreadsheets and i sit down sift through them analyze it see what they where they are how much taxes they are paying and if there is anything i can do to help them so that is usually takes about half hour an hour two hours depending on how complicated they are and then we sit down one session or two sessions with the client we analyze their situation and uh uh, then I'll uh, put in a plan together to see how much taxes they can save if, especially with the real estate investors, that really they are have no idea that there are ways that they can save taxes. Businesses, they know a lot of them are familiar with corporations. They know they need to incorporate, but unfortunately, the real estate investors, they don't know. And that's even more complicated. We get to introduce the corporate structure to them get them familiar with it, get them comfortable with it, and then set up the proper structure in place for them to save them taxes. And uh, that's it, basically. And then we'll take it from there. Usually, sometimes we need uh, some people to hold their hand much longer and until yes. they are comfortable to start taking the bigger steps. And then some people know they are ready and they just let go and they trust us and then uh, we take over and we try to save taxes as much as we can. And is it quite a simple process for them to then hand it over to you? Some people, yes, it's quite easy for them. It's more a matter of letting go. Uh, some people it is are hard in business at times. It is, it is. There are people that are very uh, in charge of everything, they need to control everything. But at the same yes. time, there are people who understand. And sometimes when I go to, to this type, second type of client, I say, I have to do this, I have to do this. They tell me, why are you telling me? I gave you the books, totally hands-free. I don't want to have anything to do with it. I trust you. But at the same time, I have clients that they tell me, we have to sit down and line by line go through and tell them why we did what we did. So it's a matter of somebody the personality how comfortable they are with letting go and if they want to be in charge of everything or not and then what we do is basically right now with the systems that we set up is through cloud and one of the bookkeeping or accounting systems that we have we try to set them up on the cloud so they can have access both types of uh, businesses and both types of investors can have access through the cloud to their books and they can see what we have done. And this way, that's how I have expanded my business from East Coast to West Coast of Canada. I have clients from Nova Scotia all the way to Vancouver. That is through only the power of internet and uh, systems that are available on the cloud. 
And it's great that you look after your clients no matter what level they're at. You are catering to whether they need you straight in, hands on, they want to give it all to you. Or for those that want to take baby steps, it's great that you support them along that journey as well. Another question I wanted to ask you, Nada, this year has been a nightmare for everyone globally what is this looking like for people's taxes is that going to cause problem with the way the economy is with the way the whole world has been locked down what is the problems that are going to come up for people with their taxes and incorporated businesses okay so tax wise here in canada and the united states they have been through so many different uh, helps and grants and subsidies and loans. There isn't much complication over there. But uh, here in Canada, if you consider, for example, the Canada Emergency Business Account that Government of Canada is giving $60,000 of loan to small businesses, and almost everybody is qualified for it as long as they were a business, uh, they were active on March 1st. They are uh, the tax complication is that they are willing to forgive twenty thousand dollar of that sixty thousand dollars, and that is a taxable portion. So you got you are going to this year because they gave all of these loans, and forgive a portion of it all in twenty twenty. So you got to be considering if you have started paying or not, and when you want to be paying it, and consider the portion that you are not going to give back to the government as taxable portion. Uh, there are grants that they have introduced, uh, many, many grants, federally, federal level, provincial level. The grants are taxable. They are not free. Uh, right now, I see so many clients coming and uh, we ask them, did you get a grant here? Did you get a grant uh, from the federal government, the $5,000 one, uh, to set up your computer system or improve it? Or the provincial government, the digital main street uh, credit they were giving for $2,500 and many businesses have used it or and they don't know that these grants are unfortunately taxable here in Canada and they're going to pay tax on it. So this is one thing the businesses should be careful that some of these grants that they receive from the government and some of the forgivable portion of loans they are taxable and they got to be careful how they account for it. Great. Great advice again, and a lot of people out there just need to hear that message now. So it's really great that you're on today, Nader. So we have talked about your background. We know what you do, and I'm sure it's a lot more technical, but we know and understand better how you serve your clients and how you show up in the world. So I want to talk a little bit now not only are you an accountant helping small businesses, medium-sized businesses and real estate investors save money and save taxes, you are building a great profile for yourself as well, Nader. You recently you. spoke on the platform, what I was part of as well, with Robert Kiyosaki and some yes. other great big names. Tell us a little bit about that, Nader. Uh, it was truly a great experience uh, to share a stage with uh, Robert Kiyosaki. He is my hero. Over 20 years ago, I got uh, to read his book for the first time, Rich Dad and Poor Dad. And that's where the very first time that even as an accountant, even though I had already done my major in accounting and I was going through my designation process, I heard a totally different definition of asset and liability. And it was totally shocking to me when he classified your personal resident as an expense because it doesn't bring you money and he defined asset as something that brings you money. So that was really truly an honor to share the stage with him. And that is when I started my own investment, uh, you know, going journey. And I started, you know, uh, buying properties, renovating them, selling them or just hold on to them. 
that's how I, as an even as an accountant, I got to change my idea what an asset is. It was truly great pleasure. And I got to uh, share some of the secrets uh, of real estate investments and how to save taxes, the two-tier or three-tier structures that exist here in Canada that people can use. Uh, right after that uh, session, I had a few... Uh, sessions with investors that are in high income tax brackets they are making at least two three four hundred thousand dollars and they had bought properties not one two three they have bought half a dozen a dozen properties in their own names and they were paying personal tax rates of 50 percent 50 and a half percent on that income and all through these years their accountants had never advised them that there was a way that they could save taxes and that was the greatest advantage, the pleasure that I had that I could see, oh my God, I can help people. That be, be, that not everybody necessarily often knows, not all the accountants are truly knowledgeable about the investors. Everybody has a niche, everybody's accountant and everybody can do everything, but not everybody gets into the depth and becomes special as in some part of accounting so and taxation. And there I saw ho so many people that I could help. That was the greatest advantage to s mix both real estate investment and taxation together and share stage with uh, Robert Kiyosaki. It was, it was amazing. And since now that the tax season is on, now the, the flow of client has begun and I see them, the ones that I advise and we were working with them and advising how to set up the structures and how to change the structures and it's been a great uh, adventure so far it's been amazing to help so many people so far in past two months two and a half months and great that you're investing in things yourself and who better to look after your books than yourself i bet you can save yourself absolutely <laughs> fortunes can't you nader I have tried. I'm trying, but uh, as uh, I don't know, the expression goes. Uh, uh, I don't know. My own door has been broken. So, uh, as the, what, did it, what does the expression say? The carpenter has a broken door. So, <laughs> I'm I I prepare my own tax returns very last minute. But the advantage is that I make sure I have the proper foundation in place. So yes. right now, I we have to change the offices we are located at here in Oakville and. Hopefully next year we are moving to a location here in Oakville, but I've already put the proper structure in place. I'm buying that place, that office, that condo unit, but I've already put that structure in place that I make sure there is, uh, there is net income in it and there is profit and then I will not have to pay personally high tax rates on it. So even no matter how busy you are, if you seek the right advice, you can save taxes, even if it's last minute but make sure the foundations are set right. Excellent. And I think that's the same for all of us entrepreneurs and business owners. Our own things always come last after our clients. Our clients come first and then we come last. But just great, great conversation today, Nada. I have really Thank enjoyed you. having a conversation with you, learning Thank how you. you support people to save money legally through their taxes. No. You are offering a free report. So yes. can you just share a little bit about this, Nader? Yes. Uh, actually, uh, there are two reports I'm offering for free to whoever is watching this program. Uh, one is uh, the one that I shared with the uh, viewers on uh, December when they came to Robert Kiyosaki event. It's regarding the real estate investments and how proper structures can save them, save taxes almost to up to 75% and bring taxes down from 53.5% to 12.5% here in Ontario or 11.5% in other provinces, 13% in other provinces. And then uh, the second report is for the small businesses that uh, I gave a speech. Again, I shared the stage with Michel Romano, the, yes. uh, the youngest uh, uh, dragon in uh, or shark as you want to call her and uh, with uh, uh, Kevin Harrington who is the original shark yes. tank on the shark uh, yes and uh, I've offered another uh, free report to small businesses regarding all the grants that are available out there and where they can apply 
what are the conditions for them if they can apply directly for it or they need to go through their banks and it's a 20 page report with dozens and dozens of grants uh, that are available right there subsidies loans that are offered by both federal and provincial governments so uh, they you can the viewers can go to my website www.nhttax.com slash report and download the, either of these two reports and uh, enjoy it and it gives you all the details of how you can uh, save taxes I would urge all of our viewers, all of our listeners to go and get that report, especially if you are a small, medium sized business, a real estate entrepreneur ready to start saving taxes legally through 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 their bookkeeping, their accounts, through incorporation. Exactly. Go to nhttax.com forward slash report connect with nader he will support you if you are ready to start saving money legally through your taxes nader i have really really enjoyed having a conversation with you today thank you so thank much you for so being much. on the brilliance business tv show before we go is there anything we did not cover that you would like to share no, that's it. Uh, thank you for this opportunity. And if anybody needs to contact me directly for an appointment to analyze their situation, they can send me an email at nader at nhttax.com. And I'll be glad to sit down with you and analyze your situation and see if there is anything we can do to help you. Thank you, thank you for this opportunity. Nader. Thank you. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you, everyone, for watching today. What another great show. We have been joined by Nader Tarani, Principal and President of NHT Associates, helping small and large-sized businesses through their taxes and real estate investors to legally save money. We've learned all about his background, how he serves his clients, some of the amazing projects is working on right now until next time join us for another show coming very soon bye for now